Living Local Carolina with Katie Turner. Local trends, shopping, dining, and more. This is Living Local Carolina. Well, thanks so much for joining us today on Living Local Carolina. I love being in the studio, especially when I get to talk to authors. And I'm joined by Desiree Middleton. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Awesome. Why don't you go ahead and tell our viewers your style of writing? So um, I've recently developed a new style of writing. Um, mm -hmm. I'm into urban fiction novels now. Um, I just released my second back in November of 2023, and it is a series called Married to the Enemy. Um, it's very exciting. It gives me so much excitement because I'm able to allow my imagination to just take over and run wild. Mm -hmm. um, and so those two books are very much full of plot twists, full of a lot of murder mystery if you're into that. Um, full of all of the things that you would probably see in a Tubi movie. <laughs> I love it. You're actually the first author that I've had in here that writes that sort of mystery genre, so that's really yes. interesting. Have you always been interested in this since you were a kid? I mean, you yes. started, you published your first book in 2019, right? Yes, so I published my first book in 2019, and um, it's called Finding the Beauty in Ugly Situations. And it's more so about my life, about myself, things that I had gone through and mm -hmm. how I still remained positive and um, was able to overcome those things. Um, and then after I wrote that book, I'm like, well, there's not much else I can write about myself. Not yet. <laughs> and so I was like, you know, I still wanted to write. I still wanted to release books. But I was like, what else can I write about? And I started following this author named Ashley Antoinette. And she writes these books, these like urban fiction books. And I read like three of her series in like a month. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait a minute, I really, really like this. Like I can create some characters like this. And so I sat down one day and I started doing it and it was just coming just like that. Um, and I think the best part about it is that you can make up people. You can make yeah. your characters do what you want them to do, how you want them to do it, whatever direction you want them to go. Like my imagination just, takes over. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. So when you talk about twists, is, can you give me an example or is that giving too much away? No, yeah, I can absolutely give you an example. Um, so the crazy thing about the first book that I wrote, um, urban fiction that I wrote, Married to the Enemy, when I wrote that book, I was going through a divorce myself. Oh. So, so many people were interested in the book because they thought it was a tell all about my marriage. <laughs> <laughs> so the, I had, I mean, eyes were on it before the book was even completed. Mm -hmm. um, and so when I first released it, the book sold about 250 copies within the first two weeks and wow. that was a goal for me That's one awesome. that I didn't think I was going to achieve because I was like wow and it was because you know everybody wanted to know what is she going to talk about in this mm -hmm. book and then I think when they actually read it and realized it had nothing to do with me or my marriage it was more like oh wait a minute but it's still a good book um, so one of the plot twists um, in the book the series um, in the first book Melody is the main character she's a young lawyer who is trying to find herself and trying to find her way. She meets a man, she falls in love, gets married. Um, but in the second book, we find that Melody's perfect husband might just be the enemy. Mm, <laughs> we'll leave it at that, folks. <laughs> but you are now working on another book with your daughters. Yes. Where can people stay updated on this sort of thing? So I am on all social media. I am on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all under at Author D. And then I also have my website, which is www.authordesiree.com. Um, and I pretty much post every day literally wow, <laughs> on all okay. sites. Um, so I'm pretty active on social media. So I normally um, try to keep people updated as to what I have going on through my social media sites. Um, I actually just launched my online bookstore. Um, and so of course I'm gonna be selling my books through the bookstore, awesome. but um, I'm also gonna be including other authors' pieces and works through the bookstore as well. All right, thank you so much for joining us <laughs> thank today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Guys, if you want to check out some of her books, where's that website that people can find again? It's www.authordesiree.com.
We'll be back right after this break with more Living Local Carolina. I'm so excited. This is a big deal. This is crazy cool. Go Miguel, go. Just get yourself comfortable. Right, gently, uh-huh, and then you're gonna hold your right hand here, just a little pinch, okay, and then start the gas pedal. It is, that first push is always the scariest one. There it goes. Yep, keep going. Okay, and then just maintain, you can maintain that slow speed. And then to see how it's moving and then how this hand is really gonna be your guide, navigating. Nicely done. I mean, look at that, you did great. Oh, wow. And then just pinch it close to right here, kind of hold this thread, pinch it, pull it out. You want a long tail. Don't be scared, pull it all the way out. I like it. Yep, and then this cuts right over that. Yep, that's great. So you want to pin that one down there, and then you're going to pin that. Now you want to make sure they line up as well after you. That is important. So you're going to want to center this over just a touch. So pin that down, make sure you're only pinning it to one piece of your fabric. So you wanna hold that. And then you're gonna line this one up and put it on the top. But yeah, to uh, the guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not challenging as I thought it would have been. Yeah. And you were worried. <laughs> to all the guys out there. Yeah, to all the guys out there. Really the challenging part is the cutting and the measuring. Well, good morning and thanks for joining us today on Living Local Carolina. Today, I'm really excited because in the studio, I have my friends from the Grand Strand Model Railroad Club. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. Great. Thank you. Great to be here. Oh, yeah. We got some props right here on the table. We do. But first, let's talk about what's going on with you guys. There is a model train show coming up. Tell me all about it. At Myrtle Beach Mall, which is also where our club is located. Gotcha. Uh, we have a two-day show on Saturday and Sunday, uh, 10 to 5 and 10 to 4 on those two days. Admissions five dollars for adults, very reasonable. Kids eleven yeah. and under are free, and we have how many vendors, Joe? Uh, we have about thirty-one vendors, roughly wow. one hundred and twenty-five tables that I have will have nothing but train-related merchandise for sale, and there'll be six layouts running. One layout is from the Sippin' and Switchin' Society of the Carolinas. There are a group of gentlemen that come together, put their modulars together at shows, and they're gonna be about 10,000 square feet of the old J.C. Penney store that we are gonna have the show in. Yeah, it's a huge venue. We're very fortunate to get it there yeah. this year. That's a big space. Yes. You think about 10,000 square feet. It is. Yes. Come on, man. Yep. I love and the it. store is 50,000 square feet. Oh so we're, we are going to try to fill that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the thing about, I started the show about 14 years ago. Uh -huh. I always wanted it near our club. Uh -huh. And our club is located in this mall. So not only can you go to the show, you go to our club, which is right across the parking lot. Free admission all year long for all ages. I love it. And we've been there 14 years. And unfortunately, a lot of people that live in Myrtle Beach don't know we're there. They walk hey. in all the time and tell us this. We never knew about you guys, yeah. you know? It, it, we, it, it blows our mind, you yeah. know, that they just don't know it. I love it. Well, we're getting the word out to people. 
where can they learn a little bit more information about you guys online and remind me of the dates again? Well, we do have a website, which is gsmrrc.org. Mm -hmm. You can go to that website, click on it. It'll show you all about our club, our history. We'll be back right after this break with more Living Local Carolina. Well, welcome back to Living Local Carolina. I am back at Bad Ear Salon today. I'm with Katie and Sarah. How are y'all doing? Good, how, are how are you? How are you? I'm doing great. Wonderful. So here at Bad Ear, they're very different. They have a more natural route, but you guys have a ton of diverse clients and you have some pretty specialized things that you're good at. I want to kind of take some time to go into that. First, let's start with you, Sarah. Perfect. You are a curly hair specialist. Absolutely. So, this is niche, but it's not, right? Yeah. So there's a lot more people that have texture that maybe mm -hmm. either don't know about it or have never properly been um, taught how to take care of it. Um, and of course, we have so many different textures from the tightest of curls to the loosest of waves. Um, and we're here to kind of educate you on all of them. I love that. Yeah. And tell me a little bit about what you do. <laughs> I'm the bridal director, so oh I handle goodness. all the bridal organizing. Um, I help everybody, you know, send out their contracts for their bridal, mm -hmm. for their weddings. Um, and then I help organize our team here, like who's going Love to it. do hair and who's doing makeup. And we just have fun with it. <laughs> That's a lot to keep track of, yeah. I will say. Yeah. Yeah. So what does a typical day look like for you guys here? Um, it just kind of depends on the day, but for me personally, again, it's a lot of educating our clients. That's something that always goes back to it. Mm -hmm. Every curly um, client that I am with, I go into like our in-depth process of how we're going to style, what we're going to use, why it's going to work for their particular curls, and really get them a personalized and individual um, routine that's going to work best for their curls. And then um, we can really break down the actual ingredients that are in our products as yeah. well, which helps with my inner sense training and education. Mm -hmm. um, so not only is it great for their, or great for them, but it's great for their curls as well. Yeah. yeah. And you actually, when you leave the salon, you think your hair looks really good. Yeah. And then you actually can keep it looking good. Absolutely. Exactly. Day after day. Because we want to give you the same confidence that while you're in salon, that we send you home with that same routine, yeah. that you have the confidence to do it when you go home. I love yes. that. Yeah. And Katie, it's about to be a real busy season for you. Yes. What is that like every year? It's got to be pretty rewarding, right? It is. Um, my favorite part is seeing everything come together <laughs> and just, you know, seeing the smiles on everybody's faces, the whole the party, the wedding parties. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And just <laughs> and just you know, seeing it all come together is very rewarding. Question for somebody that is uh, maybe going to become a bride, not naming any names. <laughs> when would you need to book with you? Like, when would you need to start thinking about that process? Um, I would say at least five, six months in advance. Okay, write that do. down. Yeah, <laughs> we do <laughs> book up pretty fast. People. Um, yeah. You'd be surprised though, a lot of people try to get in last minute and we still were able to okay. work with them too. I love it. Mm -hmm. And finally, I want you both to tell me why you love working here at Bad Hair. You guys definitely have a very different dynamic than any salon that I've walked into, but what is it really like? So I love Bad Hair in general. It really gives you the environment to flourish no matter what your specialty is. We are so diverse and that allows you to have, you know, what you're the most passionate about. You have a great team of people to support mm -hmm. you. There's education on everything and if you don't know it, we also offer Bad Hair University classes every single Monday to our individual team mm -hmm. as well. Um, you can also come from outside as well too. So Love if there's that. a topic you don't know, whether it's regular hairstyling and cutting, curly classes, um, 
more specialty things, we have you covered. So there's always somebody who can help you and um, coaches that are willing to get you to those goals that you want as well. So you're you're just set up for, for success. Love yeah. Love I love that. how our whole team is basically a big family yeah. and I love how different we are and how, you know, like Leslie said earlier, about that we recycle every single thing. I just think yeah. that's amazing. Um, not a lot of salons are aware, you know, that what we put out into the world and how it affects the environment. So <laughs> you don't know until you know, people. And now I know. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for Thank talking you. to me. Don't forget to like our page on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. How to use the QR code. Just open the camera app on your smartphone, iPad, or tablet. Point your device at the QR code so the QR code appears on your screen. Your device will recognize the QR code and show you a notification. Click that notification and you'll come to our website. Living Local Carolina, weekday mornings at 9.30 on WBTW News 13.